Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, September 15th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. We're less than 24 hours away from the big dance, and Sean Roden has officially pushed all of his chips to the center of the table. This week, Flexitron released his latest set of jaw-dropping progress photos, and I think if there's still time, you should hit the betting windows and throw a few dollars on a top three finish, but you better get there quickly. When he stands alone, Roden might very well be the most impressive athlete in all of bodybuilding. His combination of old school aesthetics and new school muscle are as good as it gets right now. With three straight top three finishes on the books, at the very least, Roden has to be considered a serious threat to crack the top two or better. But the question remains, at his best, does he have enough to slay the king and take the throne. Listen to any former Olympia champion talk and they'll tell you there's something different about the way you train when you're the champion. Just three days out from attempting to join one of the most exclusive clubs in bodybuilding by winning his sixth career Sandow, the great one Phil Heath is still in the gym training like a man with something to prove. New arm training footage released earlier in the week shows Heath grinding out rep after rep and redlining like he's in fifth gear heading down the home straightaway. I'm not sure if we've seen Phil this focus for a few years now, and given the fact that a less than 100% Phil Heath was still able to cruise to wins number four and five these past two years, coming into a contest with this level of focus makes win number six seem like it's almost inevitable. Well, Phil Heath isn't the only one chasing history this weekend. Reigning and defending four-time 212 Olympia champ, Flex Lewis is also on his own personal quest to rewrite the record books by becoming the first five-time champion in the history of the division. By just about everyone's account, Flex is in a race all by himself for the 212 crown, but I don't think anyone's let him in on the secret yet. New footage from a recent training session shows King Flex hitting the weights in all-out attack mode, despite being just a few days out. To be completely honest, a 100% Flex Lewis is the most unstoppable force we've ever seen in the brief history of the 212 division. And even if he comes in a few percentage points off, he still might be able to lock up the victory given the tremendous gifts he brings to the stage. If you had any doubts about whether or not Ruli Winkler would be able to bring his A-game heading into this year's Olympia, just take a look at these latest progress photos. Late Tuesday evening, someone in the Winkler camp released one of these classic jaw-dropping pre-show photos of Ruli that just make you sit back and shake your head in disbelief. So far this year, we've already seen Winkler deliver two truly awesome performances at the Arnold South Africa and New York Pro, where he looked to be in considerably better condition than he was at any point last season. With that kind of momentum at his back and the magical water everyone's drinking out there at the Middle East Mecca, this time around, we might actually get the best Ruli Winkler we've ever seen, and that could really throw the top four for a serious loop. Every year we end up with one or two athletes who enter into the Olympia weekend as relatively unknown commodities, but wind up turning into bona fide stars before all is said and done. And one of the prime candidates to be this year's breakout star is none other than budding fitness superstar Ariel Kadar. Kadar clinched her first Olympia qualification by winning the Toronto Pro in an impressive fashion back in early June. And now she has her sights set on letting the entire world know that she's ready to take her place front and center. We've already seen the 20-something sensation hold her own against Olympia-level talent. And if she comes out and performs her best, she has a real shot to finish in the top six her first time out. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. Brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.